Hi beauties and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is all about my June beauty favorites. All right, before we get into the video, I do wanna mention that you may notice something different with my lighting. So I did purchase a new piece of lighting. Typically, when you notice that I have a really bright room, I'm using a soft box light. It is rather large and the room that I'm in is rather small. I do have other lights in here, but I wanted to find a way to replace that light just for convenience, even though I do like how it looks. I purchased a new light because a YouTuber uses this light, but it's putting off a rather warm light for me. It doesn't look quite so warm with this particular person. It's not as white as my soft box light. It is definitely different. So I'm gonna use it today just so I can test it out and see how I like it. I'm not sure right now. So let me know your thoughts and opinions about this light. It's your first time seeing it. Let's hope it's not your last. <laughs> so without further delay, let's go ahead and talk about my favorites. I have a few skincare items and body care that I wanna mention before I talk about makeup. Let's talk about Nurse Jamie. I think that I hauled this many, many months ago. For a while, I just kept forgetting to use it. And I also felt like I needed to use it for a longer period of time to be able to see if there was any difference. I still can't tell <laughs> if there's a difference. I can't tell. And I don't know how other people can tell either. <laughs> so this is a unique massaging beauty roller designed to energize, enhance, revive, and uplift your skin. It provides solutions for loss of firmness and elasticity, dullness and uneven texture, fine lines and wrinkles. So when I say I don't know how other people can be certain that this is working, I think you would have to use this and only this for a long time to be able to say, oh, it's definitely this. Or you have to take before and after pictures and only be using this. But I'm always testing out skincare and using other products that firm my skin. I can't tell you guys without a shadow of doubt that this is it. This is the answer. I can't tell you that. But I do think that it has been helping because my skin is firmer and looking better. Um, I think so anyway. <laughs> During this time when I have been working remotely, I leave this sitting by my laptop. I don't show my face most of the time when I'm in a remote meeting. So then I can do other things in the background. That's one of the reasons why I don't show my face. So I'm like rolling, I'm doing this while I'm in the meetings. It has provided the opportunity for me to do this, to be working and I'm just rolling it all over my face and massaging my skin and I definitely can tell when I have massaged and I can tell that I'm you know circulating the blood here I can tell that it is doing that so I do recommend this I like doing it especially in the summertime it's cooler to the touch and so it's nice and refreshing and I feel like I'm doing something nice for my skin I spend a lot of time down here <laughs> A lot it does come with directions that tell you exactly how to use this this is a beauty bar and I'm trying to not call it soap because it doesn't contain soap or whatever is in soap this is by good molecules and it is a beauty bar you can still see good molecules but I have been using this quite a bit this is eight dollars so good molecules remember is an affordable brand and this is a clarify and cleanse bar it's vegan cruelty free it's free of soap sulfates and parabens ultra gentle soap free bar clarifies and detoxifies skin without stripping for a comfortable clean it has salicylic and tea tree oil in it to clarify and prevent blemishes with antiseptic and astringent powers so i think that this is a really good bar if you have more acne prone skin but if you just want to prevent acne i also think it's really good and i like it because i get a really good lather my face feels very clean when i'm done with this without feeling dry i really like it so if you're a person that likes to clean with a bar and that's your jam this is really good and it is affordable this little baby here is so good this is the solo mio is the name of this i purchased it from amazon and it's sort of like that more expensive version that is sold at sephora the luna ferrero luna is sold at sephora and it is extremely expensive and this is sold at amazon and it is extremely cheap <laughs> This is sold at Amazon for $37. And then I'm gonna look up the price of the Ferrero. 
the cheapest one I see is $49 and I can't tell if it's really tiny and it goes up to like 110 159 199 do you see what I mean? So I'm thinking that that $50 one is probably a little one. So this one is definitely cheaper and it has a little button here that turns it on and a plus sign and a minus sign on the front to make it go faster. And this is the more sensitive side and then this one is a little bit more aggressive. And the place where you charge it is here on the back. And it has like a USB cord that you plug into your block and that's how you charge it and you just turn it off the one thing about this one is it doesn't have like a timer I think that that Luna has some type of timer that tells you when to move around your face and this one doesn't so what you do is you put your cleanser on and you just massage your face for 20 seconds and then I'm not sure what the directions tell me to do but I think it's about 20 seconds and then you move to another section of your face for 20 seconds and you continue to do that until you have covered your entire face I love my Clarisonic but it is in my other home so this is basically the same as using a Clarisonic it does the same type of thing it exfoliates the skin and it really gives you a deeper clean it removes anything that is typically left behind it really helps to smooth my skin and my skin is just cleaner and my pores are shrinking as well like it just really gets in there and it's very comfortable to use the benefit to this versus the Clarisonic is you don't have to buy the brush head like you do with the Clarisonic so once you buy this you got it and the battery stays charged a very long time before you have to charge it again and so I definitely recommend this and this is the Solo Mio and you can get it at Amazon I'll have it linked down below I have been using this all month this is the living proof perfect hair day nightcap overnight perfecter and you pump this out apply it to your hair I like to wear my bonnet yes I do I wear bonnet I like to wear my bonnet but you don't have to you could sleep directly on your pillowcase when you wake up in the morning your hair is gonna be softer more manageable and more nourished you will see the benefits from this product for several days so I really really like this and have been using it throughout the month whenever my hair feels a little dry I use this it is excellent this is a body care product and it is a personal hygiene product so give me a thumbs up just by being brave enough to talk about personal hygiene here on my channel I have to tell you guys about it many of you may have already heard of this product this is the honey pot company normal foaming wash it is a plant-based feminine care foaming wash guys this stuff is good and I think that the whole nation knows it's good because it's always sold out I had to hunt this down for the first time I was able to purchase it at a company called the lucky vitamin and you can purchase it online there and then I actually had to go to the actual company's site to purchase it there and then it sold out there you can pick it up in some drugstores and at Target they also have a sensitive skin formula and I did purchase that one as well purchased several backups because I like it that much but this is just really great especially during the summer it is really good at making you feel fresher you feel fresher from shower to shower if you're a person that has like issues with irritations or bacteria and those kinds of things this is going to help you be calmer down there as well as prevent those issues you use about three pumps when you use it and use clean hands is what they recommend it has lavender vinegar and coconut in it and it is pH balanced for you even if you're a person who's like mm -mm, I'm scared of that I'm scared I would still recommend that you try this because it is very very gentle and if you're afraid of the regular one go with the sensitive skin I'm gonna link it down below it may be sold out but don't forget about it and stay on it until you get it because it is life-changing I don't think I'm gonna ever be without this ever again because it is just that good on to makeup I want to tell you guys about a couple of primers that I hauled a while ago and I've been using them and wanted to give you an update about how I like them and they're from the ordinary this one is the high spreadability fluid primer and this one is the high adherence silicone primer I have to say I have used this fluid primer more 
but I actually used this one today. I knew I'd have a long film day and I also feel I wanted my makeup to adhere and I think that this one is better if you have more combo skin like I have. So this will help you not get oily whereas this one I don't know that that's necessarily what it will do. Well, I like them both. I think I would probably tell you if you have oily skin to go with this one and if you have normal skin to combo skin go with this one. Oily to combo skin go with this one dry skin go with this one does that make sense like this one has a dropper they have a similar feel this one has a little more slip to it this one has that silicone feel as well been using these all month been keeping them right there on the vanity they're both good primers i highly recommend them and they are so affordable i want to talk about a couple of foundations this month first one i want to mention is the nyx born to glow and i have definitely talked to you guys about this in the past this shade is cinnamon when i talked about my top product from various brands i mentioned that i really love the can't stop won't stop foundation from nyx but recently i've been using this a lot and i'm like Ooh. whichever one i'm using at the time is the one i'm loving I have really been liking this a lot and I think it wears really nicely if you use a more mattifying primer especially now in the summertime and you use powder then you're just gonna get a really pretty natural finish and I have been so feeling this foundation I can't believe it's drugstore is another one of those kind of things I can't believe it's drugstore and I have been loving the other this. foundation that I've been wearing in the month of June is the stay naked weightless liquid foundation up to 24 for our wear and the shade of this one is 70 nn and it is really dark for me but it's good for the summertime and when you apply powder and everything else it works and it's so weird how with me guys I wear so many different shades of foundation it is really strange some of my foundations are really light some of them are dark this is probably one of the darker ones that I have but it actually ends up looking really really good on my skin maybe it's because it matches my body <laughs> better not necessarily my face and then look at this one like this is the cinnamon shade totally different shades <laughs> totally different <laughs> but they both work. It's so weird. This one probably matches my face a little better and brings out the yellow in my skin tone. And so that's probably why I like that one. Today with this foundation, I only used one pump. I applied it with a beauty blender. And to me, it gives a very skin-like appearance. It is stay naked. It gives you a good medium coverage with one pump. You could probably build it up in certain areas, but I just wanted one pump because I wanted a more skin-like finish and I didn't want it to be cakey or heavy. And this is very, very lightweight and very skin-like. And I definitely think that it is long wearing and it doesn't look makeup-y. I'm not sure the product description of this, but I think that this looks matte when I apply it. This is a plastic bottle, but I'm quite impressed and have always loved this packaging. Very, very good. Concealer this month, I've really only been wearing one concealer, and that is the Dior Forever Skin Correct. This is 3 Warm Peach, so it's 3WP, and I really like this shade for myself because of the peachy tone. I think it is a perfect, like, corrector shade for me. It's a doe foot applicator. It seems to be a little flatter on the application side. When I first tried this, I felt like it enhance the wrinkles under my eyes so I wasn't sure about it but I have found that this is one that has to be applied with a beauty blender this one's dirty because I used it today but a beauty blender is the way to go with this product as far as really shearing it out and making it look very natural under the eyes and eliminating that possibility of creasing or wrinkling it's a thicker formula it felt different blending this out than some of my other concealers so i tried it with a sponge and that's the way that i like to apply this now so this is the one i've been using all month and i have been loving it powder i have been using this month is this givenchy powder and you guys maybe saw or remember when i tried it out i dumped it out it just poured out <laughs> So I know now to not shake it too much and to be very careful. And I've used a lot of it. 
but it has like these color correcting properties but it is translucent but with this powder at first I thought that it kind of accented the lines under my eyes too and I found that I like to apply this one with the actual puff that came with it which is unusual for me but I like to like do, take it on my fingertip and do this which I might do a little bit here why not I'll buff that out in a second. So I'll apply it this way and it smells absolutely delicious. Like it smells lovely as well. But I'll apply it with my little sponge. And then I might go back with my brush and just kind of buff it into the skin or, or dust it away. But I definitely like applying it with the sponge that comes with it but that's been my favorite way to use this and it is the powder that I have been using all month I don't even think I have another one on my vanity this is a very good powder it is fragrant I love the packaging of this I have been enjoying it it's really good this is the Charlotte Tilbury bronzer in tan and I recently posted a video about this product so I haven't had it all month and I'm gonna just apply a little bit here because I just applied that powder and I want to just make sure that my forehead is bronzed a little bit. <laughs> uh-huh. Yes. Yes. The sunlight is changing on me outside. I really enjoyed this for the time that I have had it. The packaging of this bronzer is so, so nice. It is so pretty. And I do love the color of this. I think that it is a really natural color for me. It is pricey, but you get twice as much in this product than you do when you buy a normal size bronzer this is a refillable case like i think you use this to pop it out and add another one but i'm probably never gonna have to refill it because it takes me a while to go through bronzer because i have so many this is really really good definitely worth the hype i want to shout out this little teeny highlighter it's a jouet highlighter and it is the shade skinny dip it is so tiny it is so tiny and I meant to wear it today. I do have it right here. I've added it on my cupid's bow, but I forgot to wear this one. So I'm going to add a little bit just so you guys can see how good this little. I tried it on for you before, but I wanted you to see how beautiful it is. So look at this cheek and then look at this one. This is a Givenchy highlighter that I'm wearing and it is also very, very pretty, but I kind of put it on more natural today. But this is the Jouet and it is stunning. Like one of the reasons I picked up that little poolside kit that I got was to get this highlighter. It will probably take me forever to go through this mini if I ever go through it at all. But it is absolutely stunning and I think you can of course purchase it in the regular size but it is so good I want to mention my brushes again I'm not gonna go into depth about them you guys know this Surat brush is extremely pricey very very expensive it was just kind of a collector's item I wanted to have but these Chikahoto brushes are also I always want to say Chikahoodo <laughs> these Chikahoodo brushes are also very good and a little bit cheaper but more expensive than other brushes this is the Chikahoodo powder brush this is the cheek brush by Chikahoodo and then this is the cheek highlight brush I like to use this to just buff powder in everywhere you can use this for bronzer if you like which I typically don't if I'm applying bronzer I'll use the Surat a lot of times because it's a little bit smaller than this one this one I typically use to buff in powder like my meteorites powder or just typical powder I like to use it for that this one can be used for bronzer or blush so I use it for both it's a little smaller it's the cheek brush and you can just use your bronzer love this this can be used for highlighter which i use it for that and i also use it to apply powder here and i probably use it more as a powder brush in these small places even though it's a cheek brush and a highlighter brush so i just wanted to shout out the chikahoto brushes these are squirrel haired brushes they are so super soft and they give you the most magnificent airbrushed finish it's just going to give you a very soft finish when you use these natural brushes your makeup is going to apply very softly and it is foolproof like you really are able to buff out harsh lines and it just looks like 
melt it into the skin so i love these brushes and wanted to shout them out for you i bought the chikahoto blending brush as well i wanted to see what that was about and it is also very very good i like using these types of brushes the squirrel blending brushes to soften things and blend out any harsh lines that i see in my makeup application for my eyeshadow that's what it looks like right there another brush really quickly is this wang goss blending brush i've been grabbing this quite a bit to blend out transition as well as crease colors if you want something to just really blend out and just softly blend this is your brush it is definitely going to get rid of any harsh lines and it is just going to apply whatever color just seamlessly all over your transition area your crease it is a perfect kind of all over blending brush so i love this brush definitely recommend it it's still loving the wayne goss the airbrush brush but we're not going to talk about that one again but still loving it <laughs> so as i was filming i noticed that it was getting darker and darker and then i realized that the battery and the light was dying because it is a battery operated light <laughs> we're learning we're learning thought it was just because the sun was setting that's probably a problem too come on son don't you know i'm feeling <laughs> So we're gonna keep going now. So if you noticed a difference in the lighting, now you know why. I wanna mention one brow product that I've been using a lot this month and that is the Gimme Brow. And this is in the shade 4.5. It is so small that you could easily lose it and look at this tiny wand. Let me tell you why I love this. This is like a tinted brow gel. I used it today. I didn't even use like a clear brow gel at all. And the reason I like this is something going on with my brows as I get older, they're more and more sparse no matter what I do. I find that sometimes when I'm using a pencil that, especially in this shade, this is Ebony, uh, Ebony Brow Wiz, that I can't always fill in the way I like in certain places, like it still looks sparse. So this brow gel allows me to just, I, I take it and I use the little tip here and I just fill in places I will fill in the places that my pencil is missing and just has a tough time with. If I use a brow powder, that doesn't happen as much. But when I use the pencil, sometimes it is hard for me to get every sparse area and make it look natural. So I will go back over the pencil with this and fill in any places where I'm missing. This is also good if you don't have time to apply a pencil. You can just use this. So just like with the Charlotte Tilbury bronzer, I haven't had this that long, but it is definitely a favorite. This is Desert Haze and it is a luxury palette by Charlotte Tilbury. It is all mattes and I did film a video on this. It feels like it's it's Charlotte Tilbury month. <laughs> It really is. I have been really into her products this month, but look at how beautiful this palette is. It's universal. This palette is so pretty and it will look good on anybody, but I really like how it looks on deeper skin. On my skin, I just have been loving it. I wear all of these shades, but sometimes I might just put one of these shades all over. I wear it in my online meetings the few times that I show my face. <laughs> I'll wear one of these because it's so simple and it's easy, but it looks like I added a little color to my eyes without adding a lot. And when you don't have a lot of time, you just want to put on like a five or 10 minute face and you're done. These are so good. You don't have to blend that much. They blend out so easily and I'm so happy with it. Like it is such a perfect travel palette. And I also think it's just a very good everyday palette, especially for people who don't really like wearing a lot of shimmers. This is really, really nice. And these are just all perfect colors. These are my jam. So this is great. It is expensive but it's beautiful. <laughs> the next eyeshadow palette I wanna mention is what I have on my eyes today. I can't say that I've been wearing this all month because I haven't been. The last time I looked on Sephora's website, this was half off. So that's the reason I wanted to bring it up to you guys again. This is by Melt Cosmetics and is the Impulsive Palette. And it's such a beautiful palette. And this one has pressed pigments in it. For a pressed pigment palette, 
it just is so easy to work with sometimes pigments can be difficult to use and this is just beautiful and the colors brown girl friendly if you have deeper skin you can definitely use this palette so i just wanted to mention it again even though i haven't been using it all month i thought you guys might want to know about it since it is half off right now so i think it's like a 60 something dollar palette for 30 something dollars right now as for a couple mascaras i've been loving First, I want to mention this Lash Craft Big Volume. It has a wand that I typically like, that hourglass shape wand that is fluffier. It actually reminds me of the Too Faced Better Than Sex wand, except it's a little skinnier. This is definitely a volumizing mascara. If you're that type of girl that likes just a little bit of clumpiness, but not overboard, but you want that thick lash band type of look, then you'll really like this. And I believe that this is a little less expensive than like your other brands at Sephora. So I've really been enjoying it from the very beginning. Like, you know, some mascaras, you have to really work them a little while before you begin to like them. I liked this after the very first try. So it's a very good mascara and fairly affordable. My newest mascara that I have been wanting to try is this Liquid Lash Extensions by Thrive Cosmetics. My best friend loves this mascara. Kathleen Lights loves this mascara. So I was like, I gotta try this. So I ordered it recently and I haven't been using this one as long as I've been using this one. So I haven't been using this one but a couple of weeks, but I still wanted to tell you guys it is such a good mascara. It's unusual that I would like this though. <laughs> this one has that rubbery wand that I typically don't love as much. And I think it's because sometimes I may poke myself whenever I'm using using this type of wand but it is going to separate your lashes so well so it's a very different lash look than this one you're going to have more separate lashes and it lengthens your lashes flake free liquid fiber technology combines buildable fibers plus korean plant extracts for instantly longer thicker lashes and i would agree so i have been using this and i really like it and the one thing i like about this is that i can use it on my bottom lashes i actually used it on my bottom lashes today i'm not sure if you guys can see how you can actually see my bottom lashes but i also use this little primer this is like a little lash primer that i got these are like point perk sizes that i got from lancome and it, you know it's the little white primer you apply so i use that and then i applied the mascara and it is just very good for bottom lashes so i'm like oh I've arrived. I can use one mascara. So very, very good. And the lashes I'm wearing today are my Lily Lashes Miami. Oh, I've missed them so much. That's what I'm wearing today. But this is really great mascara. So I'm happy that I've discovered it. I want to put on a little bit of gloss bomb because I want to talk about it. This is not what I'm wearing today. Instant shine. Oh, <laughs> This is fussy. I got it in that little set that I hope Sephora still sells. You guys got to get that set because it's got all these different minis and different shades. And fussy is one of the ones I have here with me in this little hot pink color. But I think the other ones that I have are at my other home. Fussy is one of these glosses that I could just apply by itself. I grab it a lot. And it is such a shiny, juicy, perfect lip gloss. I just think that every gloss lover should own one of the gloss bombs one of the best things about this is the doe foot applicator it is just so comfortable to use this of course is a mini size because it came in the gift set but they're about this big normally i already owned fussy before i got it in this set and i just wanted to tell you guys again how excellent this is it's so good and it's just the perfect summer gloss <laughs> i should have talked about this one first but the combo that i have on right now i use in my charlotte tilbury bronzer video and it was this little foxy brown i'm trying to finish using this one up i do have another one but it's this foxy brown lip liner i have that on and i used the shade bitch perfect this is the bitch perfect shade here it is the perfect pink for me and it's a creamy lipstick where the pillow talk is matte so i really like 
this better than Pillow Talk. And this lip gloss, I kept talking in the video about this wand being so difficult to pull <laughs> from the tube. And I really don't need any more lip gloss, but this is like a peach shade. And I got this free with my bronzer and it is really good. Like I loved how my lips looked in that video. It is a plumping gloss. Don't buy it for the plumping. Very minimal plumping action, but it is so pretty on the lips. So all of these lip things here, I probably have been grabbing my gloss bomb the most though this month, as well as my, my buxom gloss and sugar. You guys know that's also been a favorite this summer. I've been wearing that. So I've been more of a gloss person all summer than I have anything else. The final product I want to mention is so strange because it was a disappointing product in another video. That's the Lancome Fix It Forget It setting spray. So it looks like I have just the tiniest amount here, but I actually took this bottle and I filled up this little bottle that I bought just for this spray. I talked about it in a disappointing video because I hate that when I spray this, it spits at me and it leaves little droplets in my makeup. You guys told me that if I could get past that, this was really, really good. So then I decided to purchase another bottle and this is like a little glass bottle that's really for perfume that I purchased from Amazon. And I'm just gonna spray a little so you guys can see how this bottle works. It's not the finest mist ever, but it doesn't leave droplets. <laughs> I have been grabbing this setting spray the most of any setting spray that I have. I have been grabbing it even more than my Kat Von D that I love so much or my all nighter. It does the best job at making my makeup stay on and it is just very long lasting. It says up to 24 hour makeup setting mist. I definitely want to rank it high on my list as far as setting sprays that give me more of a mattified look and that help my makeup stay on longer. It is so good. But Lancome, if you're watching, fix this. Fix it. I'll link this below. This is the one that I have been using for the last couple of months. All right, everyone. So I hope that you all have enjoyed today's video. That concludes my June monthly favorites. Continue to stay safe out there. Remember to wear your mask, protect yourself and your neighbor. Okay. That's the right thing to do. Also, please remember to give me some feedback on the lighting. I'm definitely not sure how I like the fact that the battery begins to die and the light starts to dim and you don't even notice it. It just gradually gets darker. <laughs> If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. If you have questions or comments, leave them below and I will respond. And if you've not already subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and click that subscribe button before you leave. So I'll be seeing you guys again very soon in my next video. So until the next time we meet again, this is Savvy signing out.